Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add in a uh, an object here uh, that will uh, allow you to kind of put text over that object. So this is actually really easy to do. Okay, so first things first, we need to make a blueprint class. And what this will do is we'll say this will be, um, let's say text, um, we could say text UI object. And we need to make a parent class here. Okay, and what I'll do is I will make a child class of this here and I'll say that this is chair. And I'll make another one here that says table. Okay, let's hop into the chair here. Let's add in a static mesh here and table here as well. We'll add in a static mesh. And we'll say chair. Well, that's meaning this one's the table. So let's do table and chair. All right, so there we go. Um, let's compile both of these here and drag them onto the scene. So we now have items that we need to can use. So we have the chair here and the table, and we might as well just put those two there. Okay, so now that we have both of those, we need to create a user interface here, and we're going to call this, um, we'll call this info text. Okay, and within info text, um, we need to uh, do a couple things, right? Um, Let's hop into the info text here. And um, we need to add in some text. And I'm going to move this all the way up to the top here. And we're going to call this um, text description. Okay. And within text description, uh, this is basically, you know, when we hit that, uh, it's going to show this text. Okay. So let's start off by, um, uh, let's start off by figuring out how we can show that text on screen and then we'll move from there. So what I'm going to do is, so I have my my uh, gun here and whenever I point to an object, it's going to essentially create, um, it's going to create the text over that. Now this is really, really easy to do. So let's hop into our first person blueprint and let's hop into our first person character. Okay. And in here, we need to add in an every tick or event tick. And within this event tick, we need to add in a line trace by channel. Okay. And in order to make this work, we need a um, camera manager. All right. And we're going to get world location or um, get location, get the camera location here. We're going to move that. Uh, just like that here. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to um, player, um, we need to uh, get the player here. And this is, uh, this is pretty easily done. So let's say player controller, get the player controller. We're going to get forward actor here. And basically we are going to, um, uh, we need to um, multiply vector and float, and then uh, we need to add vector here. And I believe I believe that works here. Let's draw the uh, for one frame here. Let's compile it and let's save it here. So let's draw it here. And sure enough, you can see that this is where the line trace is actually going. Okay, so perfect. Everything works out just great. Now this is where things get a little bit more interesting. We need to uh, add this in here and we're just going to break hit result. And from this hit result, 
um, we need to do a couple of things. So first of all, we need to go to this other actor and we're going to cast to, um, uh, and it was this parent that we need to cast it to. Um, it's text UI object. And you know what, let's call that thing to look at, because that is a little bit better. Um, so if we cast it here, we'll say cast to thing to look at. And we're going to drag this here. So what this is going to do is that if the hit result is the if we're casting to the thing to look at and remember that the thing to look at is the parent so both of these two since they're children should indeed work out quite well okay and that works out pretty well and so let's hop back into here and let's just test this out here we're going to say print screen and then we're going to say print string one's going to be hello the other's going to be goodbye okay so that way we can test this out. What that means is that it's not hitting, it's hitting, it's hitting, not hitting, hitting, etc. Okay. So that is part of what we need to do. The second thing we need to do is we need to add in the. Um, uh, we're going to add in the um, uh, the the actual uh, U UMG or this info text to the screen. And I'm going to do that in the next tutorial just because I like to break up the tutorial.